Hello everyone, Troopa Base here. Welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 2. Last time, we finished up our time over in, in Gangplank Galleon and we made it to the second world over here, though. Crocodile Cauldron. Looks a little hot in there, though. And sure enough, this, this is the volcanic region over here, though. So we got Hot Head Hop as our first level here with this, though. So, also... Point out right over here though that there's a there's a hidden treasure chest up over here though it's it's a bit dark to, to, to you see that though but, but you want that though because it's a two it's a, it's a two up balloon hiding very cleverly there get you out of here though but yeah the mechanic of the stage here is we're gonna have these little crocodile heads that basically serve as platforms though and and, and we have to get across that way though also that enemy I just took out there is this game's equivalent of claptrap though so so like we caught claptrap before though you cannot roll into them but you, you can toss barrels at them or you can jump on them though also yet yeah, uh, and also now no, no, I got that point as well though the brown ones will, the, the brown crocodile heads that will bounce you upwards though to that though so this is gonna be your main way of getting across the for the stage this is the main mechanic of the stage here though the green ones are just normal uh, basically just serve as normal platforms though and that's it so you get out of here though you, you wanna you wanna definitely want that one though because that one has a cannonball though which basically means we're gonna have a cannon coming up here though for for our bonus here though so Gonna have to. So it's one of those. It's one of those treasure chests where it, it is absolutely vital to get it though, and there it is right there. And this one is collect. This, this one's a collect the stars one. This one's not so bad though, but this one is gonna be one of those you have to kind of go. Just, you just got. You guys got time bound. You got to watch line up your jumps off of the off the crocodile heads every there with that though as you bounce off the node to get the stars though. But all in all, it's pretty simple. It's, it's a pretty simple bonus stage though. Like I said, the, they don't really start getting. They don't get really start getting start getting me until later on though. Also, I show. Point out. Okay, I, I was I was gonna show that was the way back over there though, but I didn't want to. Uh, when I saw the clobber, if that's the name of that enemy, the Kremlin that's in the in the bone, in the barrel there. There I was like, no, but I want to get knocked into the lava there. But also, new animal buddy in this game here. They, they, and Crate Kong kind of alluded to him about, about a clumsy spider when we saw him in Monkey Museum. This is Squitter the spider. He is probably one of the more versatile. Animal buddies in this game over here though. Why bud lets him shoot webs though, which basically basically gives him a projectile attack, which lets him beat most enemies. So he also has a thing where you can hit, use the A button though. So how this works is you fire the A button one time, and then when you, uh, you press it, and when you press the second time, it creates the platform. You can you can only have two platforms up at a time though, but you can literally make platforms that though. And that's how you're supposed to get that DK coin that's hiding up there though with that though. So and there's the eighth thing to kind of teach you about about that though even though it's after that though now squitter cannot jump off of enemies though so he can bounce off the the crock heads no problem though but he can't he, he can't bounce off he, he can't bounce off normal enemies though he, he's gonna be relying on his webs to to attack though and the bananas up here are supposed to be a hint to use the plot to make platforms to go up here to reach this bonus level that is hiding way up here though See, this is actually a great introduction to to Squitter the Spider though, because he is probably one of the because he again he's one of the more versatile animal buddies though with, with the ability to make platforms and, and attack from a distance as well, and the game uses him utilizes him in quite a few levels though, so he he's one of the new animal buddies and honestly I'll consider one of the be one of the better ones in this game. But yeah, got the bananas hiding up over here though, nothing really too important though, but also the barrel over there will. The, the barrel up there will, but will let you go ahead and just will we'll shoot you across over there though. But but you can but you can you, instead you can use the platforms over here to to get the coins out over here. Nothing really too vital though. But I'll, also I'll also just point out though yes the, the webs are able to defeat the zingers as well though. But also got ourselves an, got another bonus area and he has this is the third one. So this is gonna be the last one here because again no more than three in a, in a level. And this is another one of those you know. That also, I should also point out as well. You can, when you launch it, you can you can hold the a, you can hold up or down to have it go angle in that direction. Though, but you have to have be holding it before. The, 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 but pretty much like either right, right before or right as you launch it, though. So y yeah, so it, it, you have to be holding it before you launch it. As I just tried out there, though. But let's go ahead and over here this way here, and we're gonna, we're done with the first lava world of this game, though. And by the way, it's one of those rare cases where yes, it, it is though because. Because because this is like a volcanic region though, and we're pretty much on the outside the volcanoes, like on the outside parts of the volcano for, for this though. Also, I should also point out as well, we got a new thing over here, Clubus Kiosk. Let's see what this is. Now hear this, landlubbers. My name is Clubber, and to cross me bridge is gonna cost you many pieces of eight. 
Come on. And if you don't pay up, I'll run you through like the scurvy dog ZR. Ha <laughs> ha! It costs 15 creme coins to cross over, mateys. This is what the creme coins from the bonuses are for, though. We don't have enough right he right now, though, because we're one short, though. So we can't do anything right now, though. The, the option to fight him and run away is more or less the same. And so I was gonna, I'm just gonna show the fight option just so that that's not enough, you yeah, scummy land lovers. Yeah, he just basically bats you away and just kicks you out. It doesn't actually cost anything, though. But that, though, but. So, but yeah, it's one of those you're gonna want to have to remember this for later though because this that is what your the cram coins and the bonuses from the bonus rooms are for though But we've also got ourselves another one. This it's time for the next next episode of Swanky's bonus bonanza Don't be nervous. We all want you to win don't we folks? That's right. They're all right behind you So not as elaborate this time because we don't have the introduction here though. So now, now all of them are gonna start costing coins as well For cranky challenge. Let's go on ahead in here what is the name of the first lava level on this area of the island? We just played it. That's Hot Head Hop. We just did. We just did that one. Yes, let's play on. What is the name of this area of the island? We know that one as well. That's Crocodile Cauldron. We just saw that one. No, Alligator Alley though. <laughs> I thought they would say that though. It's like, yeah, it's like, the Crocodiles are considered crocodiles though, so they're not really like alligators in this. One, as far as I, I know, though, even though they're even though they're related animals, that they, they they look similar. Well done. Let's have another. How many times did you have to hit the end of the area, giant bird, to kill him? He's referring to crow that we fought back in Gangplank Galleon, though. And it, was, and it was only four eggs that we had to do that. Though. Three out of three. You're pretty good at this. But that's only the easy round. So now we're gonna go on to the next one over here, though. Lucky lucky lava. What colors were the crocodile heads you jumped on in the first lava level, though? That was... It's like red and blue, blue and green, green... It's green and brown, though, but I have to say, though, red and blue. Getting some Pokemon vibes here, though, although I think this game came out... I think this game came out before Pokemon... Before before Pokemon did, though. I think this was 95, and I want to say red and blue was like 96, but... I digress. It, it, they were green and brown. You clever little monkey. Now listen carefully. What is what is an extra lives balloon colored red worth? It's only worth one life though. Five lives? I wish such a thing existed in this game. That's what I'm looking for. Next one, please. Excluding the area, end of area boss, how many levels were there on the first area of the island? Uh, so the P Pirate, Pirate Panic, Main Brace Mayhem, Gangplank Galley, Lockjaw's Locker, Top Sail Trouble. That would be five. We have a winner here tonight. I believe most of the I believe most of the little areas of the island, if not all, actually no no, there's there's one exception though. But I think most of them have five. But now we're on to the next one, Gorilla Gorilla game for the three up balloon. How many banana bunches would you have to collect to get an extra life? I never actually did talk about this in this game though, but it's the same as it is in the first game where banana bunches give you ten bananas each. So that means ten banana bunches, ten times ten, a hundred for for an extra life. Yes, let's play on. Where did the beetle first appear during the first area of the island? We haven't seen him in a while, though. The, 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 we, have, we haven't actually seen him in a while, though. Actually, was he in... What? He might have been in Top Seal Trouble, actually. I don't know. But yeah, we, we don't actually get to see that, though. But he was in the second level, Main Brace Mayhem. You clever little monkey. Now listen carefully. What is the name of Diddy... Of, of Diddy's ponytailed girlfriend? She's standing right in front of you, willing to answer with this, though. The did that <laughs> Trixie, but now we know it's Di it's Dixie though. That is one of those. If if Diddy is in, is in front and she's behind her though, she, like, she I can just imagine her sitting back there going, "I'd have slapped you if you got that one wrong." <laughs> and so like, like like Diddy, you had some explaining to do if you got that question wrong. I hope we'll see you back next week. So that that's it though. So that we got ourselves more lives. Now we're on to Cannon's claim where we're gonna be seeing a. At least one new enemy in this level here. Also, going to see a new mechanic though. The, 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 these these barrels will, will automatically shoot you out after a certain after after like a, after a second though. So, also, the thing you want as well. Helicopter twirl all the way over here though to, to the first bonus barrel here, and this one's a bit special. 
First of all, it's gonna introduce you to the mechanic of these character exclusive ones where only that character can go in it though, but this is also one of the rare cases where the DK barrel is hiding in, the DK coin is hiding in the, it's, it's hiding in the bonuses over here though. But, but, but yeah, you, but yeah, if, you, if, if the other cons in front, you, you can toss them into the other barrel to now account as well though, but you have to, you have to go with the character that's, that is on the, that, that is on that barrel though to get them to launch though, so. There we have 15 coins now, so now we can go on ahead to the next part over here. And he, this is this is the new enemy here. This is Cannon, as, as, as say by his, with his weapon there. Now now he can actually. Okay, that was a bit interesting though. I the I hit the mouse in the backswing there with that. I was trying to hit the the the, the crush like enemy, which I believe is actually named Cruncha, actually, if I'm remembering remembering right though. But I digress. But, but yeah, he, he but yeah when he shoots the when he shoots barrels though you, you can bounce off the barrels to, to hit to hit higher to hit a little bit of higher points though. But also you bounce off the, oh, that did not work. I didn't time that right. All because I was trying to show all because I was trying to show something off. So now let's get over this way to uh, that one there and. You get out. I actually, I probably would have. Probably would have. I think you're supposed to use that to actually reach the. I, th I think you're supposed to use it to reach the the barrel to reach the the o, letter O there, but that's not important though. Also, yeah, the ones that shoot cannonballs though, you cannot touch the cannonballs at all. You can't bounce off them though; they will hurt you. You're halfway point of this level here though, so now. This is this is the this is the point of the level where it starts getting a, bit, a little bit dangerous though. I'll go ahead and use. I'll go ahead and use the tag feature to go ahead and in order to get the letter O there. So to, since I do it though, not doing it the way the game intended you to, but a way to salvage it at least though. Again, like getting the getting the letters, it doesn't matter for completion. All it is is just for extra lives. All right, so now I want. Okay, yeah. Okay, I remember how this is supposed to work here. You're supposed to bounce off this one over here, though, in order to reach the, the vulture there to, to reach the bonus barrel over there, though. I believe a tag, I believe a tag barrel, or a ta the tag team up there can actually help with that, though. But I don't know. This is one of those you just gotta follow these barrels all the way up to the top, and that's it, and that's it, though. But it's one of those don't miss the barrel all the way, otherwise you're gonna have a bad time. All right, so now let's. Going ahead, that oh, oh too early. I, I jump. I jump. I totally jumped the gun there. That was stupid. And that sucks. I think I want. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. The the the, the blast radius from the TNT barrel got him. But yeah, gotta watch this right here. Though this 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 gets really weird as you as you're trying to dodge with as you as you're trying to dodge. Um, the zingers with the barrels there, especially since they since the barrels auto fire you. you, you can't just stay in and then launch it on your own. All right. Oh, but yeah, you, you have to use that. You have to jump over there to bounce off the barrel that the, the cannon shoots at you to reach that third one over there. It is possible to drop down from from above though, but that's the way the game intends you to that though. But now, but that's but that's the third and last creme coin of this level. And at least they at least they time it so that way when, when when you take the hit when you come down there you'll be bouncing off the vault the, the, the mini vultures there. All right, so wasn't able to time it to where I could get the extra life though, but it's but no big deal though. But 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 we see we got fungus flights two up over here though, and we've also got another level over here, lava lagoon. But before I do that. We have 15 we have 15 creme coins now, so we're gonna go back to Clubbus Kiosk and show what this is. It's 20 lashes with the cat of nine tails for, for ye if I don't get me booty this time, you filthy apes. You want you want your coins? Here you go. Over here, Kongs, the Kremlin Lost World awaits ye. This is the Lost World. This is the mechanic that's in this game that introduces this game though. This bit this is basically the levels that are unlocked though. These levels do not mess around and these will, and you have to go through all these though if you want 100% this game as well. In fact, Monkey Museum over here, I think Cranky talks about this. So let's go pop in and say hello. Well, 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 if it isn't our trainee here. 
I didn't expect you to find this place, Sonny. Um, Dixie's with her. You must have got lucky. Now that you're here, I'd better tell you about it. This year's the Kremlin's Lost World, and that big crocodile head in the middle is where you need to get to if you're going to finish this silly game properly. So, but to get there, you'd have to beat Captain K. Rool and complete all the bonus levels as well. A task I'm sure is well beyond a whippersnapper like you. I don't know why I'm doing this, but here are some ridiculous cheap hits for this world, which I'm sure you'll be needing as well. So, so yeah, he's got so he's got hints for all the levels. And he, uh, here's a fraction of my enviable knowledge. So yeah, so, so yeah, so yeah, there's a monkey museum here as well, though. But this as well, and all of them are gonna cost coins. So I'm not too worried about that right there. Also, I should point out as well. He, he, he mentioned before about, about Espresso not being in the game, though. Yeah, Espresso. I mentioned before Espresso was the only one not only it was one of the you know, buddies not re returning, though. One that the other one that is not returning is a playable one is Winky the Frog, and you can see him right there in that in that case in the background back there, though. But but yeah, don't be surprised if I'm gone next time. I'll be in a real game. <laughs> like I said, not as much funny stuff this time, not as much comedy this time around, though, but it. But it's the fact that he basically is talking about the talking about the Lost World now that we got into it though. So let's go ahead and go into the first Lost World level of this game called called Jungle Jinx. Quite a corruption of Jungle High Jinx uh, as well though. But the, it, but yeah, these tires though you can bounce off them kind of like how you could in the other in, in the in the first game though. But you, but you can't control them though. They're, they're pretty much you you gotta line them up right though to to, to make it though. And as I said before, though, these levels do not play around, though. The, the lost level stages are definitely ones that... Did you gotta watch for? Also, a new enemy that we probably wouldn't have been seeing until later is Cut... That is Cut Last, though. You can't... You can only jump or, or roll into him, though, when his swords are stuck in the ground, though. Also, another new enemy as well. Kind of the opposite of Clap... Of the cl Clap... Drop. These are spinies. You, you, you cannot jump on, though, as the porcupines. You can only roll into them. Um... Okay, I was gonna say, where was the tire? I, I, th I thought a tire had to show up there. I guess not. Gotta time this jump right. Because you get, because you gotta dodge the, gotta, gotta dodge the thing. So, a lot of the, a lot of the trouble with this stage is trying to time your jumps right, though. Also, you don't want to jump all the way over there, though, because hiding over here, though, is is a letter O and a bonus level, though. Now the bonus levels here work a little differently. There's, there's only one in each Lost World stage. But as we're gonna, as I'm gonna demonstrate here in a bit, though. Also, yeah, thank goodness for that, though. This is one, though. You you actually don't have to defeat the thing. Is you only have to defeat the dragonflies. To, to destroy them all, thing is a little misleading. But instead of a creme coin here, though, the bonus levels in Lost World are where the DK coins are hiding. So you actually don't have. There's actually not as much you have to search for in them, as far as like the secrets, though. But also, yeah, you, you can also. Also, if, if Cutlass has his swords up as well, though, you can still hit him with barrels, though. So that's, that part's not a problem, though. Okay, so let's try to time this right. Okay, there, there we go. Okay, here we go. These barrels move a little fast, so we gotta time them carefully here. Alright, so we're... Alright, so... Am I really gonna... No, don't say it. Okay, gotta time this right here. There we go. Got, got a time in line up the jumps right here. They get it. I could have sworn I hit B. Also, yeah, we're, we're also gonna start seeing different colored flowers as well that, that do different things as well, though. I did not want to kill that one. Well, I'm not getting that token. I'm not getting the end of the area thing now, so. But, but at least I get to show what it looks like if you don't do it. If, it won't reach all the way though, and the con will just run out of the level. But uh, that is the first Lost World level stage here. And, and each time you. Clubus Kiosk is going to be. And each Clubus Kiosk is going to give you access to one Lost World stage there. So the one from this one is going to. From Crocodile Hunter gets you, gets you that one though. So in order to reach other ones though, we're going to have to find another Clubus Kiosk with that though. But I think this video has gone on long enough with this though. So I'm going to go ahead and end off this video here. So next time. We're gonna continue our trek through Cro Crocodile Cauldron, and we're gonna basically we got we got a lot more fire to deal with, a lot more lava to deal with here. So, till then, see you guys then. Thank y'all for watching.